<laughs> Hilarious. Miss Balloon has. I mean, do you blame the kid or the parent? I kind of blame the parent because they should. No, but at 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Balloon has. Don't get me wrong. I don't blame kids for anything. Really. I don't blame kids for anything. Kids are kids. They're. They're a product of the family structure they grew up in, the education, indoctrination system they grew up in. But once they get old enough, 18, 19, 20, if they hold on to those, to that programming, then you need to fucking shock them into reality. Wake the fuck up. You were too young to fucking deal with you then because bureaucrats would come and fuck you up, right? But you need to wake the f wake them up basically um ideally you should be able to fucking wake up kids when they're 14 15 years old that's my personal opinion but in canada you can't do that because they're considered children right but for me as far as i'm concerned because in majority of the world um 14 15 that's pretty much adult right you need to take care of business by that time if you're not taking care of business by that time fucking tribe fucking says you're a piece of shit get the fuck out all right uh so i don't know i don't know it really depends where you are strength oh one faye strength oh one wow i finally caught a stream i've been following you for years awesome stuff awesome stuff salut salut here is some blue gin <laughs> nice salsa what business should be taken care of by 14 years at 14 years old kids that can't even fucking ace like literally kids 14 years old if you're not able to excel in the bare minimum that the education system indoctrination system that centralized institution require of you needs to have a fucking talking to because if they're not willing to put the bare minimum in to get at least 80 percent or more in every course that they take then you have to sit them down talk to them and say hey listen what do you want to do in your life okay you can't just fucking get by you're not going to get an allowance for the rest of your fucking life okay you have to make a decision if you're going to school you need to get 80 plus percent 80 percent or more in school if you're not getting 80 percent or more in school you need to talk to me and sit down and say okay you want to do apprenticeship we'll put you in an apprenticeship program go learn a fucking skill you need to start working right now at 14 fucking years old start generating your own money and start learning how to do your own fucking finances you need to take a 14 year old kid and say look motherfucker the world's fucking changing fucking change your own fucking diapers no one's gonna change your diapers with your wipe your ass start acting like it right you should not be a burden on the rest of the fucking family not at 14 not at 20 not at 30 right we have i know people i know people who have family that are in that age group that are a fucking burden on the fucking family everybody carries their own fucking weight everybody carries their own weight if you expect family to give you money to be able to buy food you're a fucking beggar end the fucking story if you can feed yourself close yourself health house yourself then you're on your way to become a fucking functioning human being no salsa at 14 you don't tell you know for sure you provide them the home you provide them food but you make sure they're responsible if they're going to school and failing every course fuck them right you pick them up not pick them up physically you take them put them aside <laughs> no physical don't fucking no physical okay you put them on the side and say hey start fucking thinking what your future holds you can't just get by right getting by gets you fucking nowhere no fucking way no fucking how no 
No, no, no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And what happens if the 14 year old tells you to fuck off? The 14 year old tells you you're, provi you're providing them a home, you're providing a shelter, you're providing a protection, you're providing them food, and tell they tell you to fuck off. Well, each situation is different, but uh, I don't know. There's certain things called putting them in their fucking place, right? Because better, what what's that saying that says? Um, I forget what the saying is. It's like giving, putting them through a little pain early on, then letting them suffer for the rest of their lives, right? No, you don't give way. I've I've know I know people, the fucking family and friends and stuff like this, that they continuously say, "Oh, please, oh please, please." No, fuck that noise. You cut the cord as soon as you can, as soon as you can. A parent's responsibility, by the way, gang. A parent's responsibility as far by the way, this is coming from a person who is not a fucking parent. I've helped raise children, right? But a parent's responsibility is this from someone take with a fucking grain of salt. A chunk of salt, right? A parent's responsibility is to fucking raise anti-fragile children, resilient fucking human beings that can make their own fucking decisions, that can fucking, that are smart enough not to be duped by centralized power, right? Thinking human beings. A parent's responsibility is to make sure this child can take, to, take care of themselves for the rest of their lives. It's not to cuddle them, support them for what they fucking want everything they want and and provide them everything they fucking ask for that is not a parent's responsibility a parent's responsibility is to raise fucking a thinking fucking human being that can stand their own two fucking feet and take care of themselves and they're not a burden on the rest of the family or anyone else or society end the fucking story end the fucking story right 